Everyone knows that the sun is big, but how big? Actually, to say it's big is an understatement. Our solar system has eight planets, yet 98% of its entire mass is taken up by the sun, and we would need about 1,300,000 Earths to fill the void inside a day star. But what if we only needed one? I mean, what if our home planet suddenly grew as huge as the territory of Phoebus Apollo? If that's what you sometimes ponder, this episode of our What If series just can't be missed. Well, if the Earth was injected with a dose of substances boosting growth, the first sign of transformation is the stretch of topography. Mountains would be higher, valleys would expand, oceans would widen. Wait, what? Oceans would widen? That's not a good thing, as there's now way more area to cover, and the amount of water still remains the same. The depth of each body of water, from lakes to rivers to oceans, will be remarkably leveled down. For your information, the lowest point ever discovered in the Pacific Ocean is just 10,928 meters. That's the Challenger deep in the Mariana Trench. So, if the area to cover increased 1,300,000 times, our largest and deepest oceanic division would be so shallow that nobody would even call it an ocean anymore. Marine species would go extinct. Those on land would also have insurmountable difficulty finding fresh water to drink. Their disappearance is also a highly likely possibility. What about humans? Well, since water sources, including contaminated ones, were so rare, we would be fighting with one another for a chance to take a sip. Food scarcity would be another burning issue. But why? Wouldn't the vast territory allow us to plant more? Yeah, that's true. But the limited amount of water would completely prevent that. Rice, wheat, tomato, potato, apple, orange, basically everything we normally find in our fridges needs a huge amount of water to grow. In short, you'd see trees falling, creatures collapsing, oceans, rivers, and lakes evaporating in the blink of an eye. Our green terra would soon become a wasteland with almost or even no life forms. And that's not all. If our tiny sphere suddenly grew into the size of the sun, it would not only put an end to mankind, but also disrupt the whole solar system. For billions of years, it's the gravitational pull of the sun that holds the remaining planets in their orbit. The burning star is able to produce such a strong force due to its massive size. So if our Earth was as big, the position of every ball in the solar system would undergo a dramatic change. Would they still all circle around the sun as they're doing now, or would they have to start circling around Earth? New circling routes could easily result in planets crashing into each other, causing absolute chaos. At some point, the giant Earth might even block sun rays, forcing citizens of Jupiter or another sphere to survive without sunlight. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if the water amount on Earth also expanded proportionately? Wouldn't we survive? You might think it's a yes. The giant Earth of your imagination is beautiful. With more land and more sea, we'd be able to grow more crops. Starvation would be handled easily. Owning an estate wouldn't be a dream anymore, as there would be plenty of land for just a few people. Cities wouldn't be so crowded, and everyone could have a villa of their own. Water scarcity would no longer be a problem. There'd be way more gold and diamond underground. We'd all be rich. The peaceful civilization would finally be a reality. Okay, that's enough imagination. I hate to tell you this, but that utopia would never come true. No, that's not about the water. If Earth became a sun-sized ball, the gravity we'd have to handle on Earth would be 28 times greater. Our weights for sure would be surging. If you're now 60 kilograms, you'd be 1,680 kilograms in such a world. Doesn't sound so great, right? In fact, if the gravity on Earth was just 5% stronger, the majority of humans would already die, let alone 28 times. But luckily, Earth growing to the size of the Sun is just something of imagination. Not only is it not gonna happen, 
what's happening is the exact opposite. Our home planet is getting smaller. Although our planet receives gifts in the form of shooting stars from the surrounding solar system, being a reasonable recipient, it also gives back. Gases from the atmosphere constantly leaks into space. All in all, we lose several hundred tons of mass to the vast, mysterious space out there every day. You probably still have questions. What if humans somehow managed to survive on that sun-sized Earth? Would we thrive as there'd be way more resources for the same number of people? What if Mercury, Saturn, Uranus, or a random planet suddenly became mammoth? What if Earth remained the same, but the giant burning star shrunk to its size? What if the moon disappeared? What if there was another Earth in the first place? Numerous what-ifs are there, but the scenarios in each case would likely be all the same. The collapse of civilization, together with a disruption to the whole cosmos. There's a reason why everything is the way they are now. As young Sheldon Cooper puts it, if gravity was slightly more powerful, the universe would collapse into a ball, and if it was slightly less powerful, the universe would fly apart and there would be no stars and planets. A little change can destroy the entire system. Okay, that's the answer for those who ponder what if the Earth grew as big as the Sun, and for those with any similar questions. But there are still numerous things to wonder about. Are you curious about the speeds of sound and light? What would happen if they switched will be unveiled in another episode of our What If series, together with other mysteries. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button right there to avoid missing those videos. And before you leave, please give us a thumbs up to support our dedicated team members. Until next time, bye!